Are we as a country uh, reasonable enough? Because you just talked about no. that. Op- are we with- reasonable? Look at the political swing right now. Yeah. I mean, we're, we epitomize what it looks like to not be reasonable. It's such you a can't mess, even man. have a discourse with somebody right now. It's either Trump or no Trump. It's either racist or non-racist. You can't so even wild. talk about civil rights without someone calling you anti-police. It doesn't matter what you say. It's so crazy. It's because our culture doesn't want to think. Tension is the enemy. So if I say we need police reform and someone says you hate cops, I say, no, you're you're unintelligent. I'm not saying that. I think that our policemen and women are phenomenal and there's a lot of good ones. But this system has been broken for generations. I'm allowed to call it out without calling hate to these police officers. And people are just like, no, you're left left wing. How do we fix that? It is. is, is, This might be crazy optimistic, but I think I think there's far less people with that attitude than we'd think. Because the internet. Hi, there's hi, there's a lot of highly fucking, uh, <laughs> no, sorry. There's a lot of dumb fucking people out there. <laughs> Non-highly intelligent people. Yeah. Ignorant folks. Highly unintelligent. Uh, highly unintelligent. Yeah. But I, I, I don't think they're that prominent. And if they are, I bet they're being drowned out by the noise of the woke. You hope so. I would hope. <laughs> but I, I'm with you. I'm optimistic. I yeah. woke up optimistic today because I, yeah, I see I see a change. But poli- politics show us that's not true. Yeah. And when you see yeah. when you think, see things cut right down the middle, when you see no discourse, that's when you find out people don't want to talk. I, we've, we've been saying, dude, we've been saying since, this. But since we are going to win. Bench, since we, we are we are going to win. I've seen more people. Um, and especially with churches, you know, hopefully like ours, like other churches that are refusing to let this narrative die. We're seeing a lot of people go, you know, I got to change. There, there's some things that maybe I've been so proud because when you're proud, when you're proud, you can't hear anybody. Everything's a defense. Everything's an attack. But when you get a little <laughs> bit more secure, you can drop your hands and, and have somebody well, talk and to you. Even, and even pride is pride is the, the lower common, the lower denominator on it, because the, the higher one is. Your ability to talk to someone, understand that they have a differing belief from you, but yeah. but they still are you, yeah. is all rooted in the one word we keep going back to, which is love. If you truly love each other, the fact that someone's beliefs differ from you politically should not deteriorate that love that you have for the other person. This is good ammo for y'all. Um, you know, people always say you're supposed to love one another. Jesus took it up a notch and he said, I want you to love people like I've loved you. Yeah. That sucks. Because you know how Jesus loved people Uncondi- with, with, Unreal, without, without condition yeah. before they even turned and looked at him. So if it was about loving people that I love, we're good. But it's those people that I cannot stand. That's the that's where I need that's God. That's the test. Yeah, yeah. yeah.